welcome back to our channel. So today we are at the graveside of Ricky Lee Green. He is one of Texas's most notorious serial killers. Um, he was convicted for four murders, but they believe that he was responsible for eight more. Um, he repeatedly stabbed, mutilated, and beat his victims with a hammer. Uh, him and his wife supposedly played a part in this, but she turned him in and got 10 years probation. He got four life sentences and the, death penalty. and the death penalty. He stayed for eight years in Huntsville prison before they put him to death in 1997. So we're just gonna kind of see if we get anything here. A lot of people that have been here said that they leave here nauseated, um, headaches. People have been known to be pushed here, scratched here, um, and have a lot of negative feelings. So we're just gonna take our time, do some necrophonics. Uh, James is here with us, A View From The Middle. He's got his K2 meter going and his EVP recorder, so check out his video as well. Link will be in the description. All right, let's see what we can get. Bye. Bye. More people than that. And I'm Amy. We well, just thought we'd come and get your side of the story. Because they, they say you killed as many as eight people. Is that true? Shark. There's really nothing more they can do to you, right? So Ricky is buried next to his brother, Tony, who died at the age of six. Um, supposedly Ricky and Tony were both uh, beaten and severely mistreated by the, the father and the grandfather. They would be shot with BB guns off their porch, be made to run, almost like they were being hunted. So Ricky, did you watch over Tony while this stuff was happening? Do you blame your father and your grandfather for the way you turned out? Is this Ricky? Ricky here? So Ricky, you admitted to killing the four people. Were there others? A car going by. So Trinity. 
Trinity. I almost fell. Is that a Trinity in name, or are you talking about three people? Do you, do you wish it was only three of you here and your father wasn't? Lanny's word deal just come up and said James. Well, you turned it before I could get it, Lanny. Oh, I'm sorry. My name came up on the word time. There's that. Good shot. What was his father's name? William. William J. Jr. Now, when you say James, are you talking about me? We have several devices out here with us that you can come and talk to. All you have to do is just walk up and speak into them, any of you. Tony, if you're here, you can come speak to us as well. Do you regret your decisions, Ricky? Okay guys, so we've been here for a few minutes. Um, I heard a couple little noises. I didn't have my camera on at that time, so you'll have to watch James's video to see if you get that. Um, we're gonna run the Necrophonics for a few minutes, just see what we can get. It is getting colder out here, and I'm afraid it's gonna start raining again, so um, we're gonna try to do this real quick. Just see if we can hear anything, see if we hear any of the names of the people that um, were murdered or anything else. So. Uh, just listen along and if you hear or see anything, make sure you put it down in the comments. Okay, Ricky or Tony or even his parents, Jesse or William, uh, we're going to be running this little device. You can come up and talk into it. We'll be able to hear you. Um, so if you want to talk to us, come up and speak into it for us. Hello, spirits. Johnny? Yes. Said yes. Uh, Ricky, if you're here, can you come up and say your name? What was that? The bang. Maybe there's another car in here somewhere. Ricky, can you tell us the name of the, the woman you were married to when you died? Can you come and tell us why you did the things you did, Johnny, or Ricky? Manny's word deal just said Johnny. That's why I said that. Do you regret your decisions, uh, Ricky? We know that you and Tony had a really rough life. Is that why you did the things you did? No. Do you like to make people sick when they're here? did you kill? You say three or thirty? I thought it said thirty. 
my niece word deal just come up and said wait can you say the names of some of your victims dog yeah it did sound like a little kid tony are you here you can come and talk to us if you are Fingers. My finger. It sounded like fingers numb. <laughs> there, yeah, I was yeah. just going to say, yeah, they're numb. I put my hand on my pocket about that time. Yeah. But it is getting cold out here. Ricky, if you could go back and change things, would you? Ricky, can you make that meter go off down there? Come and touch it. William, are the things they said about you true? Did you mistreat your sons? Heard a female say yeah, but not a male. Jesse, Jesse, is that you? Did William mistreat Tony and Ricky? I heard mama. Is it Tony? Is Tony and Jesse we're gonna leave soon so if y'all want to say anything to us now's your chance maybe give us some sign if you touch that box make the light slide out, make some kind of noise. that'll be a really loud noise though Yeah, all mine are. Yep. Okay, we're about to go. Is there anything you want to say to any of the people that you hurt, Ricky, or to anyone in your family? Yeah. Well, you can say it. Yeah, but if you want to make your peace, if you want to apologize to anybody, now is the time to do it. Okay, I'm going to turn this device off.
So if you want to say anything else, you'll just have to come up and say it to us. Hearing a big old bang over there. Yeah, I heard. Them. But I don't see nobody over there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, guys. So um, we did some necrophonics. We did a few things here. Uh, had the K2 meter set up. We didn't get anything off that. Um, James is going to have to listen back to his uh, EVP recorder and we're going to have to listen back to this see if we got anything on here um, not sure we did hear a few noises here and there but like I said we won't know completely until we go through this footage and see what we got so um, we're going to head off to the next place if you see or hear anything put it down in the comments uh, make sure you smash that like button share this out and leave a comment and hit that red bell that says subscribe if you haven't. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.